What's up guys, back for another Honkai Star World video. In this video, we are going to be doing the seventh stage of the Stellar Shimmer event. This time we're able to use Jade and a Herda. However, the Herda they're using is E3 and Herda is able to be, I believe, E5 or E6 now. I have to go back and count. Uh, so I'm using my own, right? So this is the trial one. They're using the Herda Light Cone. Well, the, the Light Cone with Herda on it. Um, I'm using this one. Uh, these are the difference in our traces. So my traces are higher. I also have E6 compared to their E3. That means I'm getting the damage increase from the talent and then the attack up after you ult, which is going to help us because I actually have got very, very close to losing on the first run. And then when I did my second run, I accidentally misplayed pretty badly at the end because uh, I ulted and realized that I could have just normal attacked and killed. And then I failed. So bit awkward there but let's hop into it as always super giant star is just a harder version of the dwarf star so you know not much to talk about there it pretty much would be the same fight we're gonna go ahead and skill her to here uh, the reason i'm bringing Pela is because the bonus which i forgot about the start is after allies use ultimates to launch follow-up attacks each target hit will grant one second starlight increasing all allies damage up by three percent stacking up to 999 times whenever 10 stacks of starlight are gained additionally deals damage to all enemy targets that increase with higher starlight stacks <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that is uh, that's a lot there. As you can see, we are already shredding. Now, the furry herda was not doing all that, I'm going to tell you right now. Plus, it helps with the light count I'm using. I get crit damage when I defeat enemies. Uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick if I uh, can get a turn. Let's see. Yeah, look, crit damage is 48% for three turns because I defeat an enemy. Plus, gives you a 30% attack. It's, pr it's a pretty nice... Uh, like, not her best light cone by any means, but it's a good one that I just like had laying around for her, so I could use other light cones on uh, other pure fiction characters like the Miko and whatnot. Well, well, uh, we're gonna normal attack and then ult here, and then we'll just hit the middle guy to heal up a bit more. Uh, plus, since we ulted, that does give us a few stacks. Now. This will be big because we'll ult into the detonation from the passive into a follow up. Well, sorry, fall attack, fall attack, and then it should activate twice here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we're already on stage three. Way quicker than the, fr the freaking trial one, bro. If you don't have her to build, you could just use the trial one. If you have Jade, use your Jade instead. If you don't have Jade, you could just use, you know, like ratio, I guess, instead. Um, a better sustain would be like Adventure and Fu Shuan, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll do that to get ult quicker next time. <laughs> All right, who are we hit? Oh, is it just Gallagher over there? Right, please don't hit Jade twice. Okay, so the stun is on Herda. We gotta cleanse that next turn because that could get pretty annoying, especially because it's Herda. If she if she's stunned, she won't fall up attack, which could screw us out of some damage. Maybe the run if it's like that bad of a freeze or not freeze of a stun instance. Just like that, we are on stage four with the deer. This will be a big combo here. Uh, since we are getting low on skill points, I'll just normal attack with those two. Another fall off attack, or no, sorry, another ultimate. 86, we're closing in on 100 here. Skill Herda again. I'll post another thing with Gallagher is if we're fighting the boss, her will heal when she hits it. But I mean, the, the, the damage, or not the damage, the uh, HP steal from, I almost called her Herda, from Jade isn't like that great. It's only 2%. It does add up though, uh, definitely. So you gotta be careful with that. But like I said, Gallagher ulting and then attacking, healing, and then make it to where when Herda attacks, she heals is pretty much all we need here. An occasional like cleanse and whatnot. Ooh, Jade took a little bit of damage from that, ain't gonna lie. Oh, oh into another fall attack, into a spin, into the hopefully this detonates. It does, W. Yeah, we're definitely... Oh, I forgot. There's one more afterwards. 
Oh yeah, no, this team is definitely a lot better with my Herda, because, yeah, oh man, it was so awkward, I was like, oh, we're good, and then I look over and I was like, wait, there's no more turns left, and I misplayed to all hell. I think there's like one enemy left too, it was so sad. Oh yeah, we are, we are getting the ass rank on this one. Bop, 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 bop. And then Jade ult, we should get, yeah, we're gonna get another, uh, like, detonate off, or I think that's what they're called. What are they called? The passive explosion? Oh, Starlight Sacks, I guess. Well, technically that's the buff, so. Whatever the explosion wants to be called, bro. No, we're gonna get two, right? Yeah. Which, unfortunately, he didn't die in the first one because it took out this whole group right here. But, but we're still cutting it a bit close, I ain't gonna lie. Because we only have one turn left, which is crazy. Like, we're getting the 5 out of 6, definitely. But the fact that, you know, we're getting that close in the first place is kind of crazy. Ow. Ow. Yeah, like, look how many more attacks we have before it's just a GG. Yeah, the detonate, if the detonate thing wasn't here, I don't think this would be, this is probably the hardest one. I still think this is the hardest one so far, because the three characters can't carry you as much as they should. Which, uh, I guess that's me bashing on Jade, but, you know, Jade can't carry as much as people hope. Yeah, this guy came out, and I was like, excuse me, and I had like one attack left, and then I lost. So like, you know, like, what the heck is up with that? Uh, we're just gonna end it here, bro. Like we don't need anything else. That's pretty much it. So that's that's it. Um, what I recommend is if you have, you know, you could use Herd is kind of the best. Himiko would be pretty helpful here. Um, let me double check. Does Jade get um, MH yeah, Pond Assets, um, Action Advance? It's the talent, right? Yeah, the debt collector. I guess Herda would still be the best one. You really just, like, instead of Pela, I guess... I don't even know if Himiko would be amazing there. Um, Rune May would probably help. You'd get a bit more damage off, so you could do Jade, Herda, Rune May. This one just rough, bro. Just You kind of have to steamroll it. Maybe, like, Harmony MC uh, for Super Break, because, you know... You're doing follow-up attacks, and, and it, every enemy is weak to ice and quantum, so you could try, like, Super Break with Harmony MC. That's another good option, but let me know what teams you guys are running on this. Let me know if you have any problems. This one's probably the hardest one yet. We'll have to see um, tomorrow when I'm off work what the last stage is, but I probably don't think it's going to be too hard. We'll have to see. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.